Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another podcast episode here. We will get back, Lord willing, to Psalms, I'm hoping, next time, next episode. But today I just got to thinking uh, about people that we could thank, things that we ought to be thankful for, uh, individuals that we ought to be thankful for in our life, and I guess really just cultivating this, this attitude, this mindset of thankfulness. And I was reminded of what Paul told the church in Thessalonica as he wrapped up the letter of First Thessalonians. He said, Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. First Thessalonians 5, verse 16 through 18. Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will, he said. And certainly we need to be thanking God for the blessings in our life, for the people in our life, for you know the, the church at West Hobbs Street. Uh, we need to be thankful for these people in our life and be thankful for what God has done uh, for us through His Son, Jesus Christ. Be thankful that we have the sword of the Spirit, the Word of God, the Bible. But today... I guess what I really wanted to, I suppose, encourage us all to do was certainly think of a situation, think of someone who you could pray for and that you could thank God for, something that they are doing. Maybe it's uh, your, your shepherds, your elders, maybe it's a, the deacons, or maybe it's a specific deacon you have in mind who has been doing something uh, that's required a lot of work and effort in recent days, months. Maybe it's someone in the congregation who you know has put in a lot of time, a lot of effort to something that's been going on. Thank God for them. But also, along with that, sometime today, after you've listened to this episode, either send them a text message, uh, send them a message over social media, but just let them know that you are thankful for them, that you appreciate their efforts, that you're thankful for what they're doing for the cause of Christ, for the kingdom of God. Now, hopefully we don't do things for the glory, for the, the praise we receive, but it's good for us to encourage our brothers and sisters in Christ to, especially I would say, for those who may not receive a lot of thanks— now, they're not doing it because they want the attention, but it's good to encourage them in what they're doing. So maybe think of someone who doesn't usually get thanked or what they do is not maybe normally noticed, and be sure to thank them. Thank them in a maybe in a very private way. You know, it's just maybe a text message or a phone call or a social media message, but be sure to thank God for them, number one, and for what they they are doing in the kingdom, but also be sure to tell them thank you and that you appreciate their efforts. Being thankful in all things, not only in prayer to God, but also letting our brethren know that we appreciate them. This is the will of God in Christ Jesus for us. So I hope that you'll take time to do that today. Thank someone for what they are doing for you, for what they are doing for the kingdom of God. And be sure to go to God and thank Him for what He has allowed us to do and the opportunities that He has extended to us to serve Him.